Hello, my name is Anne and welcome to the very first official Floss Tube, Toby Knits Floss Tube. And no, Toby won't be here for my Floss Tubes to introduce it. It's just me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, I do three videos a week starting this year. Mondays are knitting, Toby Knits. Wednesdays will be Floss Tube and Fridays will be Quilty Fun. So whichever one you're interested in, make sure you check it out. Give me a thumbs up, comment below, and if you feel so inclined, please subscribe. It really helps me grow my channel. So today is cross stitch. And what are my plans for this year? Or should I first show you my finishes? Okay, so I'll show you my finishes first. And I did manage to get, ta-da! This beauty finished. Isn't this gorgeous? I am absolutely in love with this. It is magnificent. Just four colors. That was all it was, four colors. And all these fabulous shapes and symmetry and oh it was such a joy 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 to to, to cross stitch this is um granita by fat quarter shop it's an it's so emma pattern and ah oh, i can't say enough about it it was i started it in september i believe they had a stitch along although naturally i can't ever keep up with stitch alongs but i did start it on the start date in september and um yeah, I finished it, I think. When did I finish it? I'll just check. When did I finish it? I finished it on December 30th. So I got it in in the new year, I, before the new year, which is what I was hoping for. Um, and how do I know that's when I finished it? Because I am using this. <laughs> I started using this last year. Um, again, it's an It's So Emma from the Fat Quarter Shop. And you can store up to 50 projects in this. At the front, uh, you can put the list of the projects that you have. So here you can see the ones I have and the ones I have done. And then I just put a little line here because anything after this will be 2022. I'm not starting a new book um, because I still have all these to do. <laughs> And then in there, you can go to the page where you had your list. So number eight, and there it tells you what it is, what size it was, what colors when I started it. Here's the call for clocks, cloth, and any notes I might have. So this is, this is a cool book. Um, so especially when you want to go back and check something, um, if you're going to do like a series, for example, like I'm going to do a series of the stitching by the housewives, um, dapper doodads, they're called, and, um, they are super cute. They're four by four. In fact, hang on, I'll show you one because I forgot this is a Fully finished, fully finished. Ah, look at that. So this one was called Holly Jolly Dapper Doodads by Priscilla and Chelsea of the um, Stitching with the Housewives. And so here is all my details on that and the colors I use. Well, one of the colors that it called for was 950 and I didn't have 950. And I looked on the chart to see, okay, what do we need it for? Can I just, you know, so I changed it up and did 951. Eh, hardly a difference. You wouldn't know. And uh, the same with another one. There was a different, another one that it was a different color. It called for 935 in the DMC and I used 937. Again, hmm didn't really matter. But here's the nice thing about this. They do a lot of these dapper doodads, they call them. And my plan is to replace it. Oh yes, I put a magnet on the back. So I can keep this board, which by the way, I got at Michael's. It's kind of neat. 
and you just stick this back on and it hangs up on the wall just like that. I might put some flowers, artificial flowers or something around the edge. This I finished with um, just some fabric. I just put fabric around a piece of the foam core board and then this on, on top of another piece of foam core board and just stuck them all together. So um, yeah, so the next Dapper Doo Dad that I will be showing you shortly, um, it, I think is going to be a series. So in order to make sure that I'm following all my colors, that's why I write it down. Because if I have changed up the color for whatever reason, I can continue that on through the rest of the series. Isn't that, I just absolutely love this. I do, I really love it. And it didn't take me long to make. It was a very quick stitch. Uh, I started it July 11th. I finished it July 31st. Very quick. Here's my other fully finished object. Ooh. And this again is a stitching with the housewife. They have a thing about black fabric. I'm still not really sure I'm into black fabric, but it looks nice when it's finished. And this one was called Gingham Greetings. And again, it was a series they did, but I just liked this one. We have a truck. It's not red, but you know. And um, again, this one I started July 2nd, finished July the 10th. And um, I substituted only one of the colors. But it's a, a really nice, uh, it's just, a, again, another frame I picked up at Michael's. It's a picture frame, really. And... Um, I thought that that was cute and I put a sticker there and I put a little bow up there and then I put some um what do they call that wrap wrap it's a ribbon I don't, I don't know it's one of them ribbons so yeah so that's that one fully finished so that's why it's great to have this little book okay final finished object and I will put behind it oh you want up to likes to sit behind me when I'm sewing or recording. So I'm going to put it on here because I finished. What do you think I finished? Guess, guess. Come on, come on. Yeah, you knew. Countdown to Christmas. I finished it. Isn't that lovely? Um, I'm not sure how I want to frame it yet. I don't know if I want to put little magnets behind each of the boxes so that I can put like um something on it to like a pin or something so I can tell you what tell what the days are and I wasn't sure if I had wanted it's really hard to show this <laughs> I wasn't sure if I had wanted to um backstitch because none of them are backstitched and I'm a big backstitch fan and I wasn't sure if I wanted to backstitch or not but I ended up deciding that I would only backstitch this one and this actually, the heart was meant to be on 19 and the cookies were meant to be on 17, but I switched them around because on the 17th of December, my second grandbaby was born. <laughs> Another little boy, his name's Leo, and they live in Nova Scotia, so I haven't seen him yet, but hoping to, hoping to in February, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, this is all finished now and I love it. I just have to decide how I'm going to frame it. Um, so what's my plans for cross stitch for this year? So here's something fun that I thought I would join in. And I don't know if any of you guys have heard of this. It's called Whip Go. And it's supposed to help you get down the whips that we have. Because we all end up with two or three starts and four, six, seven, eight, whatever, how many we have. Some people have like 22, oh my God. Now I have been cross stitch in a long time and I did put my cross stitch down for about 15 years and didn't touch it and then brought it back out again um, recently and started up again. So I do have a couple of projects that were not finished and they were kits. So I have everything I need for them. So I decided to add some of those to this whip go to make me finish them off. Um, so here is how it works. You down, you go, it's a Facebook group. I can put the link below. You go uh, in and download a um, template 
and then you fill in the things that you want. Now, if it, it, you and you, she picks two numbers per month, so it's like a bingo. We don't know what we're going to actually be working on until the month. And you can then pick a goal for what you want. So, for instance, I'm going to do Song of Christmas, which is this one. Yikes. <laughs> which I finally got on the proper rods. And um, it's beautiful, this one. It's a lavender and lace. So here is where I am. I did a little bit of work on it, but not much once I started cross-stitching again, as you might remember. Um, so it's now going to be in the whip go. And the way I set mine up is instead of having a new project each block, I have put the same project in five times. Or maybe it's four times. It's five or four. Let's see. One two, three, four, I think it's four times. So, and my goal is to stitch this for six hours each time it's called. So this one is going to be the one that I am gonna work on this month. So I will stitch for six hours on this and I'm going to do my whip goes on Wednesday. So every Wednesday, I will stitch on this for six hours. Once I've done my six hours, I put it away. It's That's it. If it takes me two evenings to do the six hours, do Wednesday evenings, put it away. It's done. Till it gets called again. And we, we see if we can get the thing finished. Um, the other one I am going to work on to try to get finished is so happy and here's where I'm at with so happy so that kind of got shoved away and it's a re really nice easy pattern so this one I'm going to work on this one and do a letter each time it's that number is drawn one of the letters because obviously we're going to have the whole word happy so I plan to do that for that one and that is an it's so emmer pattern and that's what it will look like so each time it's called I will do a letter and then I'll decide what I'm going to do with the sewing machine at the end and um, it's by Laurie Holt so that's a nice one um, another one I'm going to work on is called family tree and this one is what that looks like and I have not worked on this for a long time and this is a dimensions pattern I don't even know if there's a picture Oh, there is. That's what this one looks like. So it's a dimensions pattern that I've had for a long time. It's a kit. And now that my little family is growing, I'm going to have more little names to put in there, which will be fun. So that one, my plan on family tree is to stitch four hours each time this one is called. I didn't want to over stress myself by giving myself too huge of a of a um, goal because I don't know whether I'll keep up because you know what I'm like so I thought no I won't now some of them can be new ones that you add in so this is going to be one that I'm going to start and then um, that one is going to be um, I think this is four hours too. I went between four, six, and eight hours on each of them to see. Um, but I'm also going to stitch this one all of the, 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 the days that I'm going to cross stitch, which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, in July. This will be part of the Jolly July. And of course, this will be for Leo, because we all know I did the Tristan one. Um, so there's that. And then what else is there that I'm going to be working on? Oh, and then this is a new one that I started. Um, and this is another of the Dapper Doodads. This is the one that will replace Holly Jolly. It's kind of hard to figure out what that is. I'll show you. That one is called Winter. And it's a snow globe. 
by stitching with that. I just think that's so nice. Look at the cardinals. So, and this one I'm stitching in hand. I'm not putting it, it's not big enough to go in a hoop. So that one is going to um, be, now I did put a little thing in here called Stitching with the Housewives, but I don't know if I want that one to be it. I think I'm just gonna stitch that one anyway. But if a new one comes up, then that's that'll go in that block if it, if that's called and also i put fqs sal because throughout the year like remember i did the one for the um halloween the bats and booze and the sail away one i'm sure they'll have some that i want to take part in as well so i added them to my to my list so these will be wednesdays and then mondays and fridays i will work on uh, the snow globe or something else. Um, so that is it for cross stitch. I uh, don't think I have anything else in here to tell you. No, I think that's it. So uh, I will see you next week for episode two of Floss Tube or Friday if you're interested in quilting. See you then. Bye.